Be very afraid. Yes, sir, Ski! What is good, YouTube? It's your boy 2K's FIFA Reaper back with another video, man. Now, guys, before I even get into the video, I literally just woke up. I felt like I had to bring you all this video. Guys, make sure you guys hit that like button. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. And make sure you guys also hit that notification bell. My guy. Not only just that, we are on the road to 3,000 subscribers. So make sure you guys are hitting that subscribe button. But last but not least, make sure you guys are joining that member membership discord the link should be in the description and if the link is expired make sure you guys join your discord tags down low in the comments and i will personally invite you but guys it's time to talk about muhammad el nanny aka el nanny perlo guys i'm sorry but it's time to be real about it i genuinely think he should have been our midfield partner next to thomas party every time Bart thomas party was fit this entire season now guys it's kind of hard for me to say this because it's kind of a hard take to say now el nanny isn't the most popular midfielder He's not the most advanced midfielder. He's actually very limited in what he could do. But guys, the one thing I can say as a manager, someone named Mikel Arteta, someone who's in his first managerial job of his career, who wants specific things done for specific roles, it only makes sense that you're going to go get players that you know can specifically do the job that you ask him to do. Let's say, for example, against Manchester United. And then he was told to press like an animal. And he did that. And then he was told to play out from the back how Arteta wanted him to do. And he did that. He did the specific roles. Arteta told him to do and therefore he looked even better than what we ever thought he would and probably that's his best game in the Arsenal shirt to date now guys my thing about it is this we don't do this enough with Mohamed El Nenny. we don't play him enough last but not least Granit Xhaka he's nowhere near my midfield just because for the simple reason that he only has one foot my thing about Mohamed El Nenny is this as well Guys, Mohamed El Nenny literally does everything you tell him to do and a little bit of some. Like, he's not going to give you the most ridiculous impact, but he's going to do exactly what you need him to do. Not only to mention this, if a Mikel Arteta system actually needs pressing, right? Why would we press with Granite Shaka and Thomas Party in the midfield when you can have El Nenny and Party both pressing and both playing high up the pitch? It only makes sense for us to actually implement this because we could actually be even more dominant, aggressive to teams. El Nenny could have been the perfect partner. For Thomas Party. Yes, he isn't the most expansive, but Danny Ceballos isn't the most expansive either. And Mel Nenny has scored more goals than Danny Ceballos this season and has more key passes than Danny Ceballos this season. This is a fact. Guys, El Nenny is actually probably our best midfielder for our Thomas party. Granit Xhaka has one foot. Instantly, he's out of the conversation. And honestly, I don't see why he wasn't given a chance basically this whole season. He's done very well in those few times that we have called upon him. And every time that people were saying that he might not have been it, it's been when he's been basically pretty much average, which is an El Nenny performance to a T. Guys, we don't have the best midfielders in the first place. So why are we actually complaining when Mohamed El Nenny plays an average game? It only doesn't even make sense to me. Not only just that, but his best game in the main United shirt, he clearly showed that he should have been dominating in that midfield and playing more games in that midfield. Mohamed El Nenny isn't the best player at all, but he's definitely not the worst. And he's definitely the best of what we had. Literally, the best of what we had at this football club. And we don't play him enough. He's not good enough in long term, but short term, because we're so bad, he is. But guys, that's my thing on Mohamed El Nenny. What do you guys think about him, about Mohamed El Nani, aka El Nani Perlo? Oh shit! And guys, he just scored as we speak. But guys, listen, man, I'm about to get out of here. Guys, make sure you guys are hitting that like button and subscribe button. But lastly, before I do this, guys, where do you think El Nani Perlo will play next season? Will he actually be fit into Arsenal next season, or will he be actually sold off and bought? Because guys, there's talk of him getting a new contract. Imagine that, Mohamed El Nani Perlo with a new contract. <laughs> Guys, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell. My God.